morning. I just wanted to share real quick. I got my information back um, from the biopsy for my um, endoscopy and they said that there was no infection and no bacteria. They, they said they were looking for a specific type of bacteria. I cannot remember what they called it, but they said it wasn't there. So um, basically I've just been diagnosed with gastritis and I do have a follow-up appointment on the 28th and my assumption is that we will, the, the gastroenterologist will kind of go over ways to maybe mitigate more pain and possible infection and things like that where the inflammation is because that's what gastritis is. They said that it is inflammation of the stomach lining. Um, I do wonder if maybe that's where, I'm pretty sure I have leaky gut. Tons of people do these days. And I'm wondering if that area is where I'm dealing with the leaky gut issue. I have talked to a few friends who have gastritis. They've been diagnosed with it and they said that by um, lowering their stress levels and by eating a cleaner diet, they have been able to lessen the pain that they deal with. So that's my goal now. After my appointment with the doctor on the 28th and I just, you know, after hearing what he has to say, I'll go from there. Um, he's probably going to want to put me on medication and I don't want to do that. Um, not for now. What I want to do, I'm still young. I'm only 36. I'm relatively healthy. Um, I do need to lose weight. I need to eat healthier. Uh, my cholesterol, um, I don't know if I talked about this on the last one, but I did my six month checkup with my doctor last week. And the only thing that's high is my cholesterol. And then of course the prolactin because of the pituitary gland tumor that I have. So I'm a relatively healthy 36 year old. The doctor said basically I need to stop eating fast food, um, stop eating as much red meat and things like that. I do eat, you know, bacon, on probably a weekly basis, different things like that. But she said it's not so high that it seems like it's gonna be an issue as long as I take better care of myself. I need to eat less fried food, things like that. Um, so because I'm a relatively healthy 36 year old, if the doctor wants me to go on to some sort of medication for the gastritis, I'm gonna tell him that I would like to try and do do it naturally first just by changing my diet and then if he's okay with that I'm assuming that we'll have a checkup or something like that to see how I'm doing I, I doubt it would be another endoscopy but I'm sure there's another way to check and um, that will be my first mode of operation is to I, I'm assuming I need to just eat like a lot more fruits and vegetables and like chicken or fish and less burgers, less fried food and that sort of thing. So um, yeah, I just need to stay away from the stuff that we already know is bad for us. And if you have gastritis or have um, had issues like that, I would love if you would leave some information below of what foods to avoid. What foods were you able to avoid that helped you to feel better? and help to maybe reduce the inflammation in your stomach. And then also, vice versa, what did you eat that you think helped um, helped keep you healthier and just kind of maybe soothe the stomach lining? Um, and, and then one more thing that I'm thinking is, I think maybe the amount of caffeine I drink, it could be irritating and causing the inflammation because I drink about two cups of coffee a day and then sometimes a third in the afternoon, but I drink two big old cups, like a tumbler travel mug full of coffee every day. And something in my gut, well duh, definitely in your gut, pun not intended, um, but something in my gut has been telling me that I need to stop drinking coffee. And it's like my one pleasure in life, not really the one, but you get it. Every morning, like that's how, that's what gets me up out of bed because 
I look forward to having my coffee. Um, so also on that note, if you have gotten off of coffee and you know of a coffee replacement that is so delicious and you've fallen in love with it as much as you loved coffee, please let me know what it was because I really am relatively affordable. Um, I'm trying to think because if I put into account the not the creamer, the sweetener, I use a, a natural sweetener, but, and then coffee. I mean, if I got rid of all of that and just bought the coffee replacement, I could probably, it'd probably end up being about the same amount of money per month. Um, but yeah, if you have any coffee, coffee replacement suggestions, please let me know. And that is it for today. I have to, I'm off to the office and oh yes, I'm so excited. Um, I have officially passed all of my SAE courses as a realtor. Um, those are classes that you have to pass before you can renew at two years of getting your license. So my two years um, of having my license will be August 31st and I officially have passed all my classes so I can officially renew my license, which is a big deal. So many agents don't make it to the two year mark. And then right after that, so many don't make it to the three year mark. So, <sighs> excuse me, I don't breathe enough. Um, huge accomplishment for me. And I passed this, I'm not bragging. This is patting myself on the back because I've always been afraid of test taking, but I passed all of the courses on the first try. So I'm very proud of myself. So that is it. Um, I hope that you have a great week and please, if you have any suggestions, don't forget to comment below about, um, the questions that I asked there and then to say goodbye. Here's a cute cat figurine that I got from the thrift store a few years ago. She's so cute. Okay. Bye. <laughs>